A large bunch of runners gathered for the start of this one, the 13th edition of the popular Half Marathon. And they were sent on their way by new principal at UWE, Professor Brian Copeland. As you can see, this was the largest field ever cut off at around 1,300 runners, many of them hoping to improve on their times from last year, whether running, jogging or walking or any combination of the three. But once the runners hit the priority bus route on their way east to the turnoff at Larisos Road, the Kenyan Hillary Kiptanui too made his intentions very clear and he sped away from the others, making the turn in 32 minutes and 42 seconds. The others were playing catch up as the pace increased, forcing them to look for help and support along the course. Unlike the men, the top two females were eyeballing each other. Tonya Nero of TNT and Venezuela's Yetzel Alvarez were the ones favored before the start and so it turned out. All the while, the other participants were just hoping to stay on their feet and complete the event. By which time, the lead of the race was heading for home, and Kenya's two had this one all sewn up from a long way out, hitting the tape in an impressive one hour, five minutes and 48 seconds, finishing the second half of the race in 33 minutes and six seconds, just missing out on the course record, which stands at 105.07, if only he had someone to push him. Second went to last year's winner, Venezuela's uh, Richard Perez, who stopped the clock at 109.36, a full minute slower than his winning time of a year ago, while third place went to another Kenyan in Pita and Kaya in 111.02. Kelvin Johnson was fifth overall in 1 hour, 14 minutes and 42 seconds. In fact, he was followed by Lionel Dandred, Colin Pereira, Richard Jones, Matthew Hagley and Curtis Cox to round off the top 10. The first lady to cross the line was Venezuela's Yeti Alvarez in 1 hour 17 minutes and 59 seconds. She pulled away from Nero in the second half of the race, covering the trip home in 38 minutes and 8 seconds, which was faster than the first half, which took her 39 minutes and 52 seconds. Nero was second in 1.18.40, a slightly disappointing time for her as she was banking on a record run. I improved today compared to last year. Um, well, it started on time and everything, and it was cool outside, so everything was good. It had enough water. And, well, from my experience, um, well, I started running with a girl from Venezuela, so I realized that she was running my pace, so my goal was to just stick to my pace. If she runs with me, well, I would keep running with her. But I pulled the pace for the first half of the race. For the second half, she took over, and she started pulling the pace, and she pulled away from me. But um, running with her uh, led me to a good time. Third was filled by Guadeloupe's Christelle Laurent in 1 hour, 34 minutes, and 46 seconds. Ruskin Marks, Sea Sports.